सो हेलो टू ऑल माई डियर एक्सपीरियंस वेलकम यू ऑल टू सेल टू एम डी एस टेंडल अकेडमी सो एक्सपीरियंस वी आर हियर विद दार्ट टेन ऑफ नीट एम डी एस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी पेपर सो इन पार्ट वन टू नाइन वी आर एक्सप्लेन ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट सिंगल बेस्ड एंड केस बेस्ड क्वेश्चन नव एज वी नो इन अवर नीट एम डी एस एग्जाम दे आर आस्किंग इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन लास्ट ईयर अराउंड फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी फाइव इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन वेद दैट सो इन पार्ट टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल द इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन not only from need md 2020 paper but also additional lady images so that will help you to solve such question and also i am going to give the link in the description box and also on the i button above regarding all the image based questions i have prepared for the need md so on seven videos are that you can wrap up quickly for your examination so let's start the today's video so question is that it's a specimen of intestine showing large ovoid ulcer along the long axis of intestine with perforation so what it indicate it indicate the typhoid remember aspirin this is the typhoid longitudinal ulcer now let us understand the difference between typhoid fever bacillary dysentery and intestinal amebiasis remember typhoid fever occur in the lower ileum and cecum uh, the inflammation here is typical granuloma type typhoid ulcer are longitudinal in nature and clinically we can see in type of fever continuous fever will be there diarrhea disorientation and bradycardia where in bacillary dysentery the location is sigmoid and rectum in intestinal amebiasis it is cecum the inflammation in dysentery is fibrinous pseudo membrane type wherever in amebiasis it is necrosis type in bacillary dysentery you can see map like ulcer wherever in intestinal amebiasis the ulcer is flesh like clinically dysentery shows bloody mucoid diarrhea and tenesmus wherever in amebiasis you can see reddish brown hue diarrhea then you can see as per this is the extracted third molar showing concavity on the root apex so what is the cause it is because of the contact with the inferior alveolar nerve canal let's see the important relationship sometimes you can see such darkening of roots deflection of root narrowing of root dark and bifid effects of root interruption of white line of canal diversion of canal and narrowing of canal so this is the few important relationship between the nerve canal and the third molar now this is a obg of 9 year old child so what you can see this star mark this is your super numeri teeth then we have left three questions from the single base transfer so we are going to wrap up that also so child is there infected with hookworm will show what type of change in the blood profile will show eosinophilia now young's formula the correct formula is age upon age plus 12 into adult dose then a case report a 16 year old female suffers traumatic labial luxation of right upper central incisor one day before so what is the treatment plan you have to go for functional splinting for 1 to 2 weeks and then root canal therapy after 7 to 10 days if needed then explain this is a 15 year old male undergoing immunosuppressive therapy so what this clinical picture indicate it indicates gingival fibrosis then aspirin this is the classical picture for leukemic gingival enlargement and this is the classical picture of gingival euphilis then identify the instrument showing the picture this is the squat spario retriever then which is this instrument aspirin this is the magneto strictive scalar now first of all understand between the ultrasonic scalar so it can be magneto strictive or piezoelectric so magneto strictive the frequency is 20 to 40 kilohertz in piezoelectric it is around 29 to 50 kilohertz struck pattern here in magneto strictive is electrical wherever in piezoelectric it is linear this is example for your piezoelectric scalar energy conversion in magneto strictive is metal rod or stack of metal sheet wherever in piezoelectric the crystals are activated by ceramic hand pieces the power dispersion in magneto strictive is all surfaces are active where in piezoelectric only lateral sides are active then what this indicate isolated gingival swelling in first trimester of pregnancy that it is pyogenic granuloma 
Then his friend, a mother of three-year-old child, brings him to the hospital with altered consciousness, high fever, neck rigidity, and other sign of meningitis. The culture of CSF reveals the following blood picture on blood agar. So the most likely organism here is Streptococcus agalactiae. So this is the CAMPA test. What it is is a Christie Atkins munch patterson test it is a test done to identify group of beta hemolytic streptococci based on the formation of substance known as c a m p factor that enlarges the area of hemolysin formed by the beta hemolysin elaborated from staphylococcus aureus so this is a classical picture you can see the enlarged uh, hemolytic colonies from the streptococcus agalactiae now, according to our many classification, the following processes is what? It is a class 1 type. So, as per there is a classification for the partially edentulous maxillectomy dental arches. This is class 1, that is a midline resection. It is a class 2 unilateral resection. This is class 3 central resection. This is a class 4 bilateral anterior posterior resection. This is a class 5, that is a posterior resection. And this is class 6, that is anterior resection. It's very important, Armani classification for your examination. Now you can see the histopathology aspirin. In that you can see the thickened epithelium. Okay, surrounded by fibrous core with the interspersed capillaries. And the lying epithelium shows some arc-shaped calcifying masses with a world appearance. And if you go for the case history, there is a periapical lesion in respect to long-standing carious mola. So what is this masses are? They are rustan bodies. Then this is a 5 year old boy suffering from diarrhea since 25 days. This is a wet mount of stool. It reveals this organism. So what it is? It is the classical picture for your round worm that is Ascaris. Then a 45 year old patient present with deafness in one year, development of fewer cycle on the same side of face and associated facial muscle weakness. We can see in this picture. So this indicate what? James Ramsey Hunt syndrome. Then a child is there with swelling on cheek adjacent to molar teeth, which is close to gingival margin. He is otherwise healthy. So what it is known as? It is gingival euphilis. So experience, that was all from the part 10 of the NEAT MDS 2020 paper and important image-based question. Two more videos are left in which we are going to deal other image-based question. If anybody wants the last paper, year papers or revision note, they can WhatsApp me. And remember from 20 December, we are going to start with the new batch. Anybody want to attend demo lecture, they can message me. Till then, experience, take care, study hard. Remember, you have to keep on going till 16 December. Fine any help you can contact me and remember aspirant you can check out image based playlist i have given in the description box it is going to help to you for image based question thank you all